Tanchi, Fair Townspeople to Iron Mind Metal Monday, Fuel the Forge, entitled Engage Fear. Why did I choose that title? Well, it's because I have been feeling a lot of fear lately. I'm afraid of a lot of things right now. And to be transparent, I want to share with you guys exactly how I am working through those, the process, the journey. I am really just trying to move past the fact that I'm supposed to be the guy who has it all together. And rather, I want to bring you along this journey with me. Wherever you are, I want to see I want to see exactly where people are at and allow them to see exactly where I am at. Be part of my journey, let them into my life and, and understand how I am progressing things. So before we even get going, I just want to say to everyone who is investing the time to watch, I want to hear from you. I want your feedback. I want your comments. I want to engage with you because without you, this vision of mine, this channel, the content I'm putting out doesn't matter. It's just me speaking in front of a camera, sharing my heart. And although I may be building some skills, ultimately, the goal of this is to inspire and to serve people. That's part of my personal purpose and the vision for Iron Mind to forge a modern Renaissance mind, a mind that is creative, resilient, and therefore adaptable through adversity cannot happen without your engagement, without your feedback. So I want to connect. And on that note, let us roll the new intro clip. Engage with fear. What does that mean? Well, Arjua Perbalus, Latin, adversity through beauty to struggle to grapple with something is to engage with something. I want to share something that I've been a little bit afraid of right now, which is just moving forward into the future. Financially, I'm a little bit afraid right now. I'm afraid that the path I'm on might not be able to support my needs right at the moment. I'm afraid of the fact that even though I'm pursuing uh, going to art school, working at an incredible fashion store, building this brand that it may not financially work out or I might have to sacrifice quite a bit in order to stay above water. I'm afraid that Financially, I might have to find work in the short term that I may not particularly enjoy. And so all these fears are affecting everything else in my life. And so how I'm trying to engage with that fear to ground myself in reality is to take a big step out and look at, okay, Brandon, man, you're financially afraid right now. Well, let's get real. You know, how much money do you actually have in your bank account? Who do you have around that if worse came to absolute worse and you had to end up living in your car on the streets, who could you actually reach out to because they would take you in and take care of you. And realistically, for your vision for the future, you want to become financially independent. You want to become financially free. The steps you need to take. Maybe you just need to be more disciplined and, and sit down and do the work. What do you need to gain clarity around? What are gonna be the most important things you can possibly do that are gonna give you that financial security? Maybe you need to ask yourself some hard questions and look exactly where you have been making purchases that don't serve your greater vision. Those are the questions, those are the thoughts. And to engage with that fear, rather than trying to jump an entire chasm or jump off a cliff jump that's just way too high, I have to look at what is the smallest possible step I can take in order to engage with that fear. And when we can start engaging with fear little by little, we become more capable, we become more response able able to respond and to engage with our fears over time. 
what we once feared we're no longer afraid of. And that slow process, little by little, we can now engage with things that at once we thought were completely insurmountable. One of my mantras, grain by grain, stone by stone, build, the polymath proverb, looks at a grand vision that seems too daunting, too overwhelming. You just, you have to start with the smallest possible content. A grain of sand can eventually combine to make stone, to make brick, and that will eventually be used to create a castle, to create an empire, an entire kingdom. And that's, that's the ability to engage with our fears, to break it down to its smallest possible component that we know we can engage with. And in order to engage with our fears, maybe we, maybe we need to cultivate relationships. Maybe we need to reach out to other people. Maybe we really have to buckle down and build our own self-confidence and actually have the courage to work through an internal stronghold or an internal belief that is no longer serving us, has been holding us back. The masterful Jim Carrey has one of my absolute favorite quotes about fear. Many of us live our lives out of fear disguised as practicality. And my mentor and good friend Darren Biederman says, your excuses are just your fears vocalized. So to everyone out there, I know we're all going through a crazy season right now just with the way the entire world is. And all of us are probably a little bit afraid about something. And I just want to encourage you, have the vulnerability to share that with somebody and have the courage, which is the other side of that coin, to engage with it and take a small step. Now, to all of those in the global Iron Mind Village who invest their time to watch each week, thank you with a depth of gratitude drawn from the well of my heart. Your collaboration to forge a modern renaissance mind is of absolute imperative. So if you could comment, like, share, and subscribe to appease the almighty algorithm gods, that would be just absolutely splendid. And until next time, my friends, bless up and arduo parabellus.